What is going on guys, my name is Chaotic and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video. Now in today's video I have some major news to share with you guys regarding the former president of Rockstar North, Leslie Benzies, who earlier today announced he will be suing Rockstar Games for $150 million. So let's go ahead and get straight into things. Now I'm sure all of you guys have heard of and know Leslie Benzies, who is the former president of Rockstar Games and in fact only just stepped down from his position and left the company a few months ago in January of 2016. And until January, Leslie Benzies had worked at Rockstar for almost 20 years, working on major titles such as GTA 5, GTA 4, GTA San Andreas, GTA 3 and so on. And the reason behind his decision to leave the company is kind of unknown and sort of a mystery until now, when early today a statement was issued by the legal firm Locklord LLP revealing that Leslie Benzies is now suing Rockstar for unpaid royalties and the sum in question is a whopping $150 million. Now straight away, just like myself, I'm sure you guys are wondering what exactly is going on here. Leslie Benzies was the president of the company up until very, very recently and worked there for almost 20 years. Why all of a sudden does he want to sue the company for this amount of money? The reason, of course, must be huge. While the statement which was released reads, At the root of the dispute is a sabbatical that Mr. Benzies was enticed by Rockstar to take after leading the company to a world record breaking sales and revenue. As described in the lawsuit, while on sabbatical, Mr. Benzies discovered numerous deceptions on the part of Take-Two, Rockstar, Rockstar North Limited, Sam Hauser and Dan Hauser, who sought to force him out of the company and terminate his portion of royalty payments based upon arbitrary actions by the company's Royal Allocation Committee, a committee that may or may not have actually met. As the lawsuit describes, based upon agreements in place, as one of the three named Rockstar Prince principles, Mr. Benzies is owed in excess of $150 million in unpaid royalties. Damn. Well, right now I'd hate to be Rockstar Games. As I'm sure you guys know, both Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive have been sued for over a billion dollars over the past few years for different titles such as GTA 5. So to sum things up, basically what Leslie Benzies is saying here is that he was enticed to taking a sabbatical by Rockstar Games. A sabbatical is basically a leave of absence for an unknown amount of time. And because he took this leave of absence, it meant the company itself didn't have to pay him the royalties which were previously agreed upon. The statement continues and goes on to say, During the lengthy mediation, as the complaint describes, Take-Two breached its mediation obligations by issuing an out-of-bounds and inaccurate press statement regarding his sabbatical and that he would not be coming back to work. In fact, when attempting to resume his duties upon conclusion of his sabbatical on April 1st, 2015, Mr. Benzies found himself unable to enter the Rockstar North offices because his facility's access device had been deactivated. After being let inside by building security, Mr. Benzies was then ordered to leave by Rockstar North's office manager without reason. So this does sound like some very, very serious stuff. Leslie Benzies, who was still the president of the company, was literally forced out by the company he'd worked for for almost 20 years. And I guess the best way to describe this situation is that his own company backstabbed him. It does sound like a very dickish move on Rockstar's part, and personally, I hope that Leslie is able to get something out of this. After all, he was a very iconic figure at Rockstar Games. But I want to get your thoughts and feelings on this. What do you guys think about this situation? Go ahead and leave a comment on this video. It would also be greatly appreciated if you guys could also take a few seconds out of your day to click the like button, as it helps me out a lot. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'd recommend that you do because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So once again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.